good morning students today we are going to continue where we left in the last day that is asia climate and vegetation zones in the last day we had learned about the vegetation and climatic zones of the areas especially in the northern part of the continent today we are going to concentrate on the eastern and southern part of the continent so today's topic for the day is warm temperate tropical monsoon equatorial mediterranean and mountain so let us start with the warm temperate vegetation and climatic zones now this warm temperate eastern asian region is enjoying this type of a climate now this part of asia especially in eastern china has a region which has got a warm temperate climate with warm wet summers and cool dry winters this type of climate is also known as the china type of climate or the temperate monsoon the annual rainfall over here is approximately between 50 to 150 cm that is why it supports very luxuriant vegetation it rains mostly during the summer due to the southeast monsoon since rainfall is very heavy so there is a rich variety of plant growth trees such as camphor oak magnolia palms ferns bamboo grow very well over here therefore much of its vegetation and wildlife have however disappeared because of very heavy population since this area lies in this part of china and the climate being very good so most of the vegetation has actually disappeared however as far as wildlife is concerned the giant panda is a very rare animal but it is found over here because of the presence of large amount of bamboo forest next is the tropical monsoon type of climate now this tropical monsoon type of climate is found in large areas of india parts of bangladesh south eastern asia and also parts of china now this is characterized by a cool and dry winter and a hot dry summer and a rainy season which brings very heavy rainfall to the tune of nearly 50 to 200 cm most of the rainfall 
occurs within a few months of the year, especially between June to September. The natural vegetation over here is also varied due to the amount of rainfall received. However, the trees which grow over here are mostly deciduous because of a marked dry period. It is during this time when they shed their leaves. The areas of heavy rainfall have tropical monsoon forest with teak, bamboo, neem, sal, etc. Sal and teak are among the most commercial grown trees in the monsoon region. However, wherever the amount of rainfall reduces, we find areas covered with shrubs, bushes and grasses, especially in the drier areas where there are swamps. Those areas have mangroves or tidal forests and they are found mostly in the swampy coastal areas. The Sundarban Delta is one of the most important area where we find the tidal forest. Much of the natural vegetation of the monsoon region have disappeared due to heavy population. Large areas have been cleared for agricultural purposes and for human settlements. Different types of animals dominate the forests wherever they, the forests are in plenty. The gear lions or the Indian Asiatic lion is the only species of lion which is found in India, in Gujarat. Tigers, bears, elephants, several types of reptiles are very commonly found in the monsoon region. South of the monsoon region, we have the equatorial regions. They are the southernmost part of Asia from where the equator passes. The climate is very hot and wet and the annual rainfall is more than 300 centimeters. You can see this area from here the equator passes and all these areas come under the equatorial type of climate. So this region is famous for its tropical rainforest. These forests have tall trees with thick canopies. Canopies are the shade or the umbrella like shape of the trees which occur as they strive or compete against one another to get the sunlight. Ebony rosewood tree you can see over here the rosewood tree a very commonly found tree with its log having 
a rich red color very expensive is commonly found in the equatorial region other trees include ebony mahogany rubber the rubber plants not only grow naturally they also are grown in plantation other plantation crops are coffee and cocoa though the equatorial regions have got rich animal life which consists of elephants reptiles birds and insects apes such as orangutans gibbons are very common this is mainly due to the fact that there are large trees present in the forested areas and they help these tree residing animals to carry on with their living next we come to the mediterranean regions asia has got a very small area which is having a mediterranean type of climate it is found in areas close to the mediterranean sea and black sea especially in parts of israel Lebanon parts of northern Syria and part of eastern Turkey see over here this part is having a mediterranean type of climate The Mediterranean type of climate is characterized by bright sunshine, hot dry summers and mild wet winters. The natural vegetation mostly consists of shrubs like chaparral, lavender, sweet smelling myrtle and other evergreen shrubs. Cedar and oak also grows well over here. A very important commercially grown tree is the olive which is grown in abundance in the Mediterranean region. Olive is used for extracting oil which is used for cooking purposes. The mountainous region of Asia consists of a climate which is supporting different types of vegetation depending upon its altitude. The mountainous type of vegetation is mostly found in these areas of asia it's written over here the highland so you can see these areas are having the mountainous type of vegetation in the himalayas for example the foothills mostly have deciduous trees consisting of teak and sal with the increasing altitude the temperature falls and coniferous trees 
that is needle shape needle trees such as pines and firs become very common as one goes higher up bushes and shrubs become common because of less amount of rainfall further higher in the region we find this area turns into meadows or grasslands higher still higher we have poorer qualities of vegetation consisting of mosses and lichens and beyond the snow line there is no vegetation at all which only includes barren rocks so with that we conclude the topic of vegetation and climatic divisions of asia i hope you have understood the chapter well you are supposed to go through the pages from 65 to page number 67 first column last paragraph so that is what we have enough time for today thank you